welcome back everybody. Crystal Blessings, it's Hibiscus Moon with HibiscusMoonCrystalAcademy.com and today I have another Crystal Q&A. So let's listen to Jody's question. Hi, my name is Jody, and I'm very new to crystals and I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. I'm also an empath and I was just wondering, I've gotten a few suggestions on what crystals are good for empaths and if you have any more that would be awesome. I love your website, I watch all of your videos and uh, being a newbie to uh, crystals is, is very fun trying to navigate my way through this but they've already helped me out a lot and I just can't wait to continue on this journey. Thank you. Well, welcome to the wonderful world of crystals, Jody. I'm just going to suggest two that I think are really suited to this purpose for helping those that are very susceptible to other people's energies and picking that up. Some people so much so that they don't really want to leave their home or their environment because they don't really want to be subjected too much to that kind of energy. One of them is purple jade. Purple jade is a crystal that is all about spiritual knowledge and actually really great and known for empath protection. It's a stone associated with the crown and the third eye chakra. Also, it connects with those higher chakras to the earth star chakra, which is a chakra that is actually located about six inches below our feet, technically within Mother Earth. Purple Jade is a jade, just like green jade that you might be more familiar with. It's just got different elemental components to it and inclusions in it that make it look purple. It actually creates a strong grounding circuit, that connection between the Earth Star Chakra and our crown and third eye chakra really helps to ground the individual, which is why it's so good for empath protection. Now the other one that I'd like to mention that is probably a little less well known for this purpose is magnetite. Here I have a magnetite within its rock matrix, but why I really like this piece is it's got the individual magnetite crystals, because magnetite does not always express itself in its crystalline form on the outer, in the crystalline form, in a, in a form that we can see with the naked eye. And here it actually is. And the crystalline form is an octahedron and it's naturally formed all these little octahedrons within the matrix. It's a metal, it's naturally magnetic. Because of that natural magnetism, it helps to align and balance our energies and again, ground our energies. So we see a common theme there between the magnetite and the purple jade, even though they look nothing alike. It helps to really balance our polarities within our electromagnetic field. So it's another really great stone that is known for any kind of psychic overload, taking on too much energy, dissipating too much energy or energy that might have been picked up by people who are light workers, healers, energy workers, that kind of thing. It's a really good one to have around for that, for just maintaining healthy, energetic hygiene. Okay, so I hope you like those recommendations and you check those stones out and work with them and enjoy working with them. If you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with a friend, and if you haven't already subscribed here on YouTube, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right over here so that you don't miss any of the crystal videos. Okay, namaste. Make sure there's no lipstick on my teeth.